football here with the bowl season. This is Saturday, December 18th. There are six bowl games on Saturday. First one, Boca Raton Bowl, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, and Appalachian State Mountaineers. Western Kentucky went 8-5, eight, eight and 5. App State went 10 and 3. Western Kentucky, one of the best, the number one passing offense in the country. Bailey Zappi, 5,545 yards, 56 touchdowns to 11 picks. He's four away from tying the NCAA record of 60 touchdown passes in a season. Jared Stearns, 137 catches, 1,718 yards, 14 touchdowns. Mitchell Tinsley, 80 catches, 1,299 yards, and 12 touchdowns. Like I said, the number one passing offense, uh, the number two scoring offense, but the number 76 scoring defense in the country, whereas App State, Trace Bryce passed for 3,020 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 10 picks. Nate Knoll ran for 1,078 yards and four touchdowns. Cam Peoples, 825 rushing and 14 touchdowns. Corey Sutton, 61 catches, 9 and 4, and 7 touchdowns. Um, Nick Hampton had 10 sacks for them. Steven Jones had 5 interceptions. They're the number 32 pass defense. 38th rushing offense, 19th in scoring offense, 14th in scoring defense. This could be a pretty high scoring game, a pretty fun game. I'm kind of rooting for Western Kentucky, at least for Bailey Zappi, to break that record. I think this is going to go back and forth, but I think in the end, maybe Appalachian State's running game might be able to keep Western Kentucky off the field a look just long enough to win. But I think that's going to be a really close, exciting, high scoring game that App State's going to win. All right, the New Mexico Bowl, UTEP and Fresno State. UTEP kind of a surprise this year. They went 7-5, got to a bowl game. Kevin Hardison, 2009-66, 17 touchdowns to 12 picks. Ronald Awat ran for 803 and 5 touchdowns. Jacob Cowling, 67 catches, 1,330 yards and 7 touchdowns. They have the 90 scoring offense in the country, but uh, their defense is decent, 29th in pass defense which is significant because they're playing Fresno State, one of the t better passing games in the country. Fresno State went 9-3. Jay Kaner, 3,810 yards, 32 touchdowns to 9 picks. Jalen Cropper, 76 catches, 827, 11 touchdowns. Uh, like I said, they're the 20th scoring offense, 22nd scoring defense, the number 9 passing offense in the country. Unfortunately for UTEP, I think this may be Fresno State. I think this may be a blowout in Fresno State. First State's offense is too good. UTEP hasn't really been able to keep up with that. Their de defense is decent, but Fresno State's defense is UTEP's offense isn't quite good enough. So I'm going to say Fresno State wins a big, a big game there. All right, the Independence Bowl, UAB and BYU. UAB went eight and four. UAB Blazers went eight and four. BYU Cougars ten and two. UAB Dylan Hopkins passed for 2,085 yards, 15 touchdowns, the to six picks. Dwayne McBride ran for 1,188 and 12 touchdowns. Uh, they have the number 39 scoring defense uh, in the country, 17th in total defense, 12th in rushing defense, so their defense is good. B BYU, they have the number 29 scoring offense, 18th in total offense. Jaron Hall, he even though he's hurt a little bit, he had a good year, passed for 2,005, 83, 20 touchdowns to 5 picks. Tyler Algier ran for 1,414 yards and 20 touchdowns. Um, unfortunately for UAB, I think BYU may be a little too much for UAB to keep up with. UAB's defense is good, could keep them in the game. BYU's uh, offense might be, just, like I said, just a little too much. This could be close. I'm going to go BYU in the end with the win. All right, the Lending Tree Bowl, Eastern Michigan and Liberty, Eastern Michigan Eagles and Liberty Flames both went 75. Eastern Michigan, this could be kind of a shootout. Ben Bryant, the quarterback for Eastern Michigan, 2009-21, 14 touchdowns to six picks. Hassan Beydoun, 86 catches, 9-32 and four touchdowns. Hit a number 47 scoring offense in the country. Liberty has a really good dual threat quarterback in Malik Willis. He could be the first quarterback taken in next year's draft, at least probably first round pick. Passed for 2,626, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and ran for 820 yards and 11 rushing touchdowns. They're the number 42 scoring offense, 30th in scoring defense, 12th in total defense, and 9th uh, in tackles for loss. I, like I said, could be a shootout, but it could also be a blowout in the favor of Liberty. I think Malik Willis might be. Um, he Now, he has turned over a few times this year. There's been like two or three games where he's thrown three interceptions within those games. So if he does it here, Eastern Michigan has a really good chance to win. Otherwise, though, I'm going to go with Liberty to win that game. All right, Utah State and Oregon State. This should be a pretty high-scoring game. Two really good offenses. Uh, Utah State, 10-3, won the Mountain West Championship. 
Oregon State going 75. Utah State, Logan Bonner, he transferred uh, the coach, Blake Anderson, at Utah State was at Arkansas State. Logan Bonner was there with him, transferred to Utah State, had a great year, passing for 3,560, 36 touchdown passes to 11 interceptions. Devin Tompkins, one of the best receivers in the country, 96 catches, 1,589 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns. Uh, linebacker Justin Wright, 115 tackles, the number 15 passing offense uh, in the country, 38th in scoring offense. Oregon State, Chance Nolan, 2004-14, 19 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. B.J. Baylor, really good running back, 1,259 rushing and 13 touchdowns. Uh, linebacker Avery Roberts, one of the top linebackers in the country with 123 tackles. They're 86 in passing offense, 12th in rushing offense, 36 in scoring offense, uh, but mediocre in, in scoring defense. Like I said, they, they're actually pretty good offenses. It doesn't quite sound like it for Oregon State, but they can put up some numbers. I think this is going to go back and forth a little bit, but I'm going to go... I like the offense of Utah State. I want them to win, but I'm going to go B.J. Baylor at Oregon State. I think maybe they can keep Utah State off the field a little bit. I'm going to go Oregon State, actually, uh, to win that game. All right, and the final one of the Saturday night game should be a pretty high-scoring one. Good game, New Orleans Bowl. Louisiana Lafayette, Raging Cajuns going 12-1. They won the Sun Belt Conference against the 7-5 Marshall Thundering Herd. Uh, ULL, Levi Lewis passed for 2,647, 19 touchdowns and 4 picks. Chris Smith ran for 855 and 8 touchdowns. Um, linebacker Chauncey Medic had 10 and a half sacks. They're 46th in scoring offense, 13th in scoring defense, 33rd in rushing offense, and 26th in pass defense, which is significant because Marshall has a pretty, the number 12 passing offense in the country. Grant Wells, 3,004, 33, 16 touchdowns and 12 picks. Rashina Lee ran for 1,241 yards and 20 rushing touchdowns. Corey Gamage, 69 catches, 828 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, linebacker A. Bo playing 104 tackles. Uh, they're the number, like the number 27 scoring offense, 39th in scoring defense. Should be an even game. I'm gonna go with Louisiana Lafayette. I think they're the better uh, overall team and really good special teams. One of the top over the last 10 years in terms of blocking. Um, Punts, extra points, field goals, etc. It could be a difference in what could be a close game. I'm going to go Louisiana Lafayette uh, winning that one. So those are my picks for the Saturday bowl game. Check out my other bowl videos. Peace.